वेलकम व्यूअर्स वेलकम अगेन टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल द फूड मॉक एंड वी आर टुडे इन एसोसिएशन विद वाई टू फॉलो चैनल यू आर नाउ वाचिंग लाइव स्ट्रीम ऑफ अवर फोर्थ लेक्चर्स फ्रॉम द फाइव डे लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन अ डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट्स एंड इफेक्ट्स ऑफ कोविड 19 आवर लेक्चर सीरीज गॉट एन अमेजिंग रिस्पांस एंड ओवरवेलमिंग कमेंट्स एंड क्वेरीज अराउंड द ग्लोब रिक्वेस्ट एंड सजेशंस ऑफ टॉपिक फॉर द नेक्स्ट सेशन ऑफ अवर लेक्चर इज मोर देन एक्सपेक्टेड as promised we tried our best to throw a light on the effect of covid-19 on different sessions and sections today's topic will bring into your notice the insight of effect of covid-19 on business businessmen entrepreneurs and e-commerce for today's discussion we have mr jashin deep joshi from the department of commerce and management government mahindra college patiala he is also my colleague and mr jashin deep joshi completed his post graduation as a master in computer application from pai gurdas institute of uh, engineering and technology sangrur he has more than 7 year of teaching experience and along with that he is also working as an entrepreneur in patiala and co owned a coaching institute the guiders one of its kind in the area he got a very good management and entrepreneur skills and in depth knowledge of e-commerce and related subjects i hope that our today's talk will be as useful for the budding entrepreneurs and the students of different section who wants to become a businessman or who wants to start their own um, venture now i invite mr mr jashan deep joshi for the presentation sir your presentation is on the screen and uh, you may start whenever you are ready okay sir so okay thank you mr okay. Mahi, thank you sir. sir for giving me this opportunity and uh, this is the first time that uh, i'll be going live you know there is a great difference between posting video lectures and going live uh, with the students and i think it would be a great experience thank you for giving me this opportunity so without any further delay we'll start with our topic that is covid 19 business pandemic opportunities and setback right so the first question that comes to our mind is uh, is there is this the first time that we have faced such slowdown or recession no this is not the first time we have many examples from the past let me uh, show you we have faced recession in 1980 then in 1990 then in 2008 then the double dip depression in 2011 okay okay so that means this is not the first time that we are facing any slowdown or recession we have faced many recessions in the recent past the next question then comes to our mind is then what is the difference between covid 19 recession and the previous recessions right so the difference is that all the previous recessions they were limited to a certain geographical area or certain sectors of the industry certain sect sectors of the economy right and for example the 2008 uh, depression india was not very much affected by it the job opportunities did not slow down we had a lot of job opportunities despite the depression going on globally right and that was though we though we faced some uh, challenges because we are a growing economy but the impact was not that larger as compared to the other nations or the countries right so next is well, how is covid 19 then different covid 19 is such a slow down recession process that it has affected everybody every country and every in individual has been touched by this this slow down right and there have been many problems uh, that have been coming up daily and the biggest problem with this pandemic is that we still do not know when when will this end right and according to the experts it will take another 5 to 6 months to bring back the economy on in online and that is basically due to the reason that like many diseases if you suffer from a disease once you are immune to that disease that does not happen in case of covid 19 you can be affected by covid-19 twice thrice you can be affected by the same virus many times uh, according to the who okay so there is no uh, concrete proof that uh, once we get affected by it we will not be affected by it again right so next then the 
what then next question comes to our mind is then what is the way forward for us what do we do how how do we how do we take our country forward right so there is only one way to go forward and that is the digital way right as every uh, everybody is concerned <coughs> everybody is concerned that what is the way forward right we all know digital is the way forward at the time of demonetization our prime minister mr narendra modi said that we need to adapt to digital means and work towards making the india digital right back then it might have seemed to be a suggestion but now what i feel it has become a necessity there is no other way but to go digital all the services there are so many restrictions going around there are social distancing norms and there are uh, this uh, so many red zones green zones and the movement of people have been restricted organizations have been shut down there are a number of things that are going on globally due to this covid 19 recession and according to the experts digital is the only way to go forward, go forward right so during this topic we will be discussing that on what state is the world on the digital map and on what state is india on the digital map right if you need to go digital we first need to analyze are we ready for it are we ready to uh, get, uh, get all the things uh, digitally equipped all the industries digitally equipped so we'll just be analyzing those in the coming slides so first let's talk about the world more than 4.5 billion people around the world now use internet more than 4.5 billion that is approximately approximately 60% of the world's population right then you out of these 4.5 billion 92% of them use mobile devices to go online okay so you can see how much people use mobile these days and we can see that the mobile hours are increasing day by day right these days average global internet user spends six and a half hours online each day okay either you can be browsing and watching videos you can be using social media internet social media platforms or you could even be searching your uh, topics related to your studies it could be anything but approximately average 6 and a half hours everybody spends online each day okay and next is that the smartphone users are growing at an annual rate of 8% annual rate of 8% means approximately 1 billion users of smartphones are added every day okay so you can very well feel how fast this uh, digital thing is going around right so next comes that how equipped are we as indians on this digital platform right so the total population of india is approximately 1380 million total internet users is 687.6 million in india okay and the mobile users are 391 million mobile use mobile users okay number of social media users has grown up by 48% uh, than the pre previous year since last april april 19 to april 20 48% increase in social media users has has been seen and then coming to the number of smartphone users india has more smartphone users than the entire population of the us right so you can very well imagine what is the number of smartphone users in in the country no doubt uh, some users have more than one mobile phone as well still considering only one mobile phone per user we have more mobile phone users than than the com entire population of america then india is the largest consumer of data in the world right we we consume the most data as i told told maybe for social media purposes maybe for video games maybe for uh, online videos anything uh, or for study related purposes but we are the biggest consumers of data in the world 
and that's why uh, uh, the main reason for this consumption is because the data is getting very cheap these days right the price of data has been decreased whereas uh, from two rupees 270 per gb which was about say two two to three years back now it's uh, only rupees 20 per gb so you can see the difference the one gb of data about two years back we were getting it for 270 rupees and now we are getting it for 20 gb that's why uh, we don't tend to use it effectively we tend to waste it, waste it a lot right and then comes the concept of automization we all know that industries are being automized right robots are taking places machines are taking places of human beings it may be it was going on around earlier also but due to this covid 19 restriction restrictions the things have speeded up uh, very fast right so there is a concept called dark factory or industry 4.0 during COVID crisis, most of the manufacturing organization had to either close their production completely or work on reduced capacity, right? They had to, many, most of the organizations had to shut down, right? Because of the social distancing problems. And if they were opened, they, they had, they were allowed only to work on 30% of their, 33% of their capacity. So seeing this situation, the companies felt that there is a, more need of automizing all the things right so due to these uh, due to this the dark factory concept has speed speeded up what is the this concept according to the concept the concept of dark factory needs to become reality dark factory means running a fully automated factory with minimal or no human interaction intervention okay so in this type of factory, once it is set up, it is all the uh, work that is normally done by humans. Most of those works, robots are employed for performing that, those tasks. Okay, and computers, automatic machines are employed to uh, installed to make the daily processes more efficient, right? And this is the future that is coming. So. Uh, for an for I would like to give you two examples related to this. First is this. You might be aware of this uh, brand Amazon. Everybody knows what Amazon is. It is an online platform which sells various products, right? Be it groceries, be it books, be it uh, digital equipment. Everything and anything is available on Amazon, and it it services all over the world, right? And seeing the uh, seeing the conditions that are going um, around, Amazon has installed two lakh robots at its workhouse, warehouses, right? Where initially human beings were there, now the place of humans have been taken by the robots. So if such a big organization feels that automization is important, then you can very well see that all the industries will slowly start moving towards this pattern okay this will this was a global example you know uh, this is not basically an indian firm so we we might think that everything goes about 10 to 15 years ahead of india in foreign countries but coming to an indian example we have an organization named named uveka right and this organization has made this um, ponds monitor uh, had made this system in which the ponds are monitored uh, remotely right you don't need to go there you know uh, whenever uh, you have ponds and you need to feed the fishes you need to manually earlier you need to manually go there and feed um, the fishes but in this remotely monitored ponds the ph level of the water is monitored and uh, certain other techniques scientific techniques are used so that it checks when and how much feed is needed to be uh, put in that uh, pond okay so in th this way the person who is the owner of this pond he does not need to go to the pond and all the access is given on his 
mobile phone so you you can very well imagine how fast the country is getting digitalized how fast we are moving on the digital platforms right so this is just an example there might be many other examples and so next is there is a new term going around and that is the gig economy okay and what is a gig economy first of all gig economy is a free market system right in which temporary positions are co common and organizations hire independent workers for short term commitments right we all know that to hire someone on a regular basis we have to pay him a lot and organization also understand that so they have started hiring individuals on contractual basis on pay per job basis right then uh, for example uh, and the basic uh, the main benefit of this gig economy is that it works on the flexibility of time and location right you are flexible you can work on any location you can work work any time of the day the main concept over here is to get the work done and that to more effectively and more uh, you know economically so this trend is also following up to side an example if you talk about the educational system there are part time professors and regular full time faculty right so part time universities and organizations are, all, are arranging for part time lecturers right on lecture basis so what happens is if a, an organization if an institution cannot afford say a salary of 1 lakh he can get the same quality on lecture basis at much lesser rates right so it cuts the cost of the university and it also matches the academic needs of the university okay and another example you might have heard about is urban clap okay? i hope you all have heard about urban clap urban clap is a platform is a digital platform in which digital aggregation of service providers like plumbers then uh, electricians and uh, mechanics these type of uh, service providers which were earlier unorganized and largely their work depended upon the word of mouth right if they if, if he, one person came to my house to repair something he provided me a good service i would recommend to my friends to uh, get the same work done from same from the same service provider but now the urban clap has launched a platform on which it has aggregated all such service providers you can go on urban clap you can search whichever service is required and you can over there you get all the details about the service providers their quality and the comments from the previous customers like usually happens on all the uh, e-commerce or online platforms and then you can choose whichever is whichever you feel uh, is good for your service right so this type of concepts are also coming up in the economy and over if if gig economy is fully implemented then only the persons who are hard working who have talent they will be more you know uh, suitable for the uh, market than those who who don't who are uh, who do not do not uh, pay that much much atten attention on their work right so there are many other examples like freelance you have freelancing sites you have fiber and many other digital platforms which are a part of gig economy right now coming to the next topic what happened after covid 19 the, the day lockdown was announced earlier we used to say that it is the time of the survival of the fittest that means whoever would be fit he would survive if you are not fit for the environment you would not survive right but now the times have changed now the time is of survival of the quickest the quickest person to adapt to the change 
change is an inevitable part you know everybody needs to change all the organizations need to change according to the scenarios going around according to the conditions going around we need to adapt to a lot of things right and so the person who is the quickest to adapt to the change would be able to survive in the in the these changing times right over here i would like to cite you an example again i i have two grocery shops in my locality right and uh, lockdown was announced on 21st or 22nd i i suppose the day lockdown was announced both the grocery shop on owners had different 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 uh, perspective to their future one was waiting and uh, waiting for the government to give some instructions as how can they go about and do their business in the coming days and all that stuff during this covid 19 and the other person who was a very smart person he took took a very nice initiative what he had done did well was he had a list of all his customers with their telephone numbers so what he did was he immediately created a whatsapp group on the night of 24 22 and started messaging all his clients that if you need anything you can order me on the whatsapp and i'll deliver it to your homes right so it is not a very big initiative but still you can very well imagine that the person the first person uh, if you compare the first and the second person the second person would have been able to do much better business than the first one right so when you are an entrepreneur you all you need to do is you need to think out of the box you need to be quick at taking decisions you need to stand for your decisions right and this is what is lacking in most of uh, our studies that's why government is even slowly and slowly moving towards financial education we'll be coming to that topic later so what type of businesses do we think will be there in the future so i'll be talking about some of the businesses right and after this i'll be moving on to the slide in which we'll be discussing what the future uh, what we the teachers and the students can do uh, in the future right so first is the immunity building health and wellness sector will grow at a very rapid rate right we all know health is the major concern these days and all the sectors the all the businesses that deal in health and wellness they will grow at a very fast rate because people are becoming more and more aware of their health concerns right everybody is worried about uh, their health everybody is worried about their immunity so this sector is going to grow at a very rapid rate next in house farming you know not terrace gardens backyard garden this thing is going to grow we don't have big big farm houses right we we what we can do is we can have a small terrace garden everybody likes that they eat organic vegetables or organic fruits so slowly and slowly terrace gardens and backyard gardens would be so seen in more houses than it is now right so this business is going to flourish very well next is the digital education this is the most you know uh, important thing you you might have seen the day your uh, lockdown was announced the students were uh, lo uh, you know tied up to certain applications by their teachers they were the teachers were giving them online learning and all lectures all that stuff will be a regular part of our uh, you know life from now onwards as i see you know you can do certification courses online you can do e learning lot of things that students and teachers can do online right then you have counselors you can you can do counseling you can do english speaking and the same it is one or one or more or less like a digital education but it has more of a consultation part to it like you want to go to go abroad right you uh, so you can go and consult some 
immigration consultant online or you have some health issues you can consult doctors online so this type of online coaching speaking and consultation things will come up are have already started coming up rather next is delivery robots you know we we heard uh, a lot of things uh, recently like uh, while the pandemic was going around we saw a video uh, of some hospital in which uh, robots were feeding medicines and uh, supplying medicines and food to the uh, covid-19 patients in the hospital right and we have seen many uh, restaurants uh, also where robots serve the food and uh, in bangalore uh, in some places uh, people have started sending uh this material from one place to another with the help of drones so this all these robot robotic techniques uh, will take more place in the society as compared to they are now since everybody is sitting at home we are worried about our health we keep on think people keep on thinking a lot of things may be negative may be positive everybody is worried about his future so mental health counselors people who deal in mental health people who help you or uh, you uh, be healthy healthy mentally you know their businesses will start growing uh, very rapidly during this phase then spiritual sciences are also gaining a lot of uh, you know popularity these days then digital speaker you know uh, the motivational speakers now you can help motivational speakers or other people to be a star on the digital platforms this type of services will also come into effect right where the organizations will take someone to create his online profile and help him sell his online profile in a good amount this type of businesses are also going to pick up then disaster preparedness uh, would also be there you know uh, of the organizations which study the various factors which study the various disaster management techniques and help the government implement implement better uh, better uh, technologies better this uh, steps so that uh, in case of disaster we are not much affected these type of organizations will also start working more efficiently from now on with then the, this topic is important from for everyone alternate income generation skills right these things will also be uh, very much uh, coming to the market for example you are a student right and uh, you saw that during covid 19 the day lockdown what was in, uh, imposed teachers some of the teachers could not provide online education maybe due to the physical uh, you know digital this limitations or something else so what my one of my students did was he created an online platform and he started teaching pro, uh, students of lower classes and now he is earning a great uh, part time income okay and and uh, what now you know so the times are so challenging that it is the responsibility of you the students who have to come out with out of the box suggestions we all the world is looking at you that you have you are the future you have to decide what needs to be done what not needs to be done and in this you get many business opportunities right okay then you have uh, part time mbas in alternate phase in the country you have multinational mlms uh, and you have many other alternate income you have digital uh, uh, this marketing many alternate income skills you can learn right then financial literacy will soon be implemented in your course curriculum right because the main problem with the, the today's educational system is that uh, the literacy financial literacy is not provided you are provided knowledge about your subject you are provided knowledge about society you are provided knowledge about everything except money 
but we all know money is one of the most important factors to survive right so i think these are the sectors that are going to grow in the near future now there are a lot of bad things that happened during this covid and there are many good things also which happened there are many companies or many organizations which shut down due to the covid effect and many new opportunities that have also come up uh, during this covid uh, so the uh, one uh, one thing that i would like to discuss with you one fact that i would like to discuss with you that what are the uh, there are uh, there is a world record for app that reaches 50 million right in how many days a particular app or a particular technology reached 50 million users or 50 million subscribers right so this is a great proud moment for us so first build the telephone telephone took 75 years to reach 50 million users you can really you know understand how slow the technology uh, grew and grew at that time right then radio took 38 years to reach 50 million mark and television took 13 years internet took 4 years now you can to these days we cannot even imagine that internet a thing like internet took 4 years to reach a 50 million mark nowadays everything is dependent upon internet but this is reality right then facebook the most commonly used social platform it took 19 months since its its launch to reach the 15 million mark and pokemon go it is a game based on pokemon series and this took 19 days to reach the 50 million mark and now the main proud movement the day covid 19 affected uh, attacked india right and uh, the government of india launched a app known as Ar- arogya setu app right arogya setu app india's app to fight covid 19 has reached 50 million users in just 13 days the fastest ever globally for any app so despite so many Uh, bad things uh, many good things are also going around so the main thing that we need to concentrate on is the good things okay we do not need to concentrate on the bad thing next and the last topic that i'll be discussing uh, a very brief uh, slide on that what are the wealth building opportunities for teachers and wealth building opportunities for sorry there's a misprint Uh, for students okay the second one is for students so first i'll be discussing about wealth building opportunity for teachers and i'll be giving you examples as well okay uh, you can say that i am promoting or or you can say it, uh, you know i am giving you information it is the same first is online faculty development programs and seminars first wealth does not only mean money wealth also means education wealth also means self improvement wealth also means skill development right so it is a time for all the people all the faculty all the students sitting at home instead of wasting their time on useless things we should enroll for faculty development pro- programs or seminars right the benefit is if this covid 19 phase would not have been there we would have to go to distant places to attend the, the faculty development program we have, would have to spend so much money but now due to this lockdown and these conditions all these facilities are provided you at the comfort of your home on the internet at very reasonable prices so who all the people who Uh, who want to be linked to the teacher uh, teaching fraternity they need to they don't need to in fact it is uh, they have an option to enroll in for faculty development programs right then next is 
teachers can start their own channel based on their interests right for example one of our teachers uh, she had started a, she has started a spiritual channel and it's a very good initiative right uh, along with your subject if you are able to guide some other things to your students or you can do something for the society i think it's a very good initiative right i will share the name and the channel uh, in the chat with you people and then uh, there's another friend of mine she has started uh, you know uh, this health beauty beauty makeup and fashion uh, this channel so you can start channels which can sooner or later act as a source of alternate income for you people right then the next is you can even provide online online coaching and guidance teachers can open their online channels teachers can get in touch with students on zoom and provide online coaching and guidance right this is a very important thing you know uh, most of what uh, in, during the previous time i i wanted to uh, do business okay but what happens is most of the time you don't have so many finances uh, you know to work that out but as the covid 19 phase started nobody was allowed to go out with only a little bit of investment on my youtube channel and on my internet connection i was able to start a very good you know coaching channel and i have approximately say approximately 400 students who are studying with me so you can take this type of initiative also which can sooner or later act as a source of alternate income for you people then third fourth and the last you can enroll for network marketing online marketing opportunities you have numerous opportunities in the market going around it's just that we are lazy now we don't like to go out we are thinking that this is a holiday time this is not a holiday time this is a time where we can improve ourselves where we can uh, be a better individual right so these are the opportunities for the teachers and for wealth building opportunities for the students mind please ignore this uh, error so students teachers can enroll for faculty development program on the same time students can improve their skills for by enrolling for various online courses right you can enroll uh, you have udemy you have khans academy then you have many government this uh, swayam government uh, initiative where you can enroll for very cheap online courses right so uh, this way you will be able you will be a better resource for the uh, organization that will employ you sooner or later then you can also start channels based on your interest like uh, you can start channels related to music or anything you know whenever you start a project maybe it is a small project or it is a big project but you learn a lot of things so in life money is not the only thing the thing main thing is learning you know improving your skills so if you start a channel you know that you will feel that what are the opportunities what are the challenges that will grow you as an individual and last but not the least you can join practical mba network marketing and other opportunities which are available in the market it's all upon your education what you want to do or what you want to what you don't want to do right and as in before and with the and this with this i would like to end my presentation and i would just like to say we have a saying in hindi which means that either you change or you will be changed right you will be replaced so it's better that we change ourselves we, we change our habits before we get replaced by someone else thank you thank you for listening to me have a great day mandeep sir over to you uh, thank you jashan sir for such a useful talk actually these kind of a talks will not arranged by any kind of a person or even in academics you can see that these kind of a formal talks are uh, just a formality and students do not want to listen but i think that this uh, the, the this platform is really a good platform and a one of the example of your uh, business strategies and uh, i have just written some of the uh, some of the things uh, and to add more in the this presentation that the 
the thing that you mentioned that the immunity building and health wellness sector is now growing it's now going and outwards you can see a lot of supplements you can see a lot of uh, you know the products which are immunity boosting or you can see the multivitamins etc which are a sort of the things that uh, which can uh, which a student or which uh, any entrepreneur can use and opt or opt for uh, for example in our uh, previous talk our first talk mr aman singh has told that how to make a coronal at home if you are able to make a coronal at home then you can also um, outsource it you can also go for a go for a selling these kind of a product which are now Uh, required or recommended by lots of practitioners um, to, for the immunity boosting technique. And in the second presentation, there is a technique that is known for non-thermal processing of packaging of food. It is an also a good technique. You can use your microwave for these kind of techniques. The microwave is very common uh, in a, uh, in a whole household. And the way, the sarcastic way, you have told that uh, we are that's a proud moment that uh, Pokemon Go uh, reaches uh, to the more than million uh, half of the million of a uh, uh, universe or on the world and <laughs> that's a really sarcastic way to the way, way to uh, to tell this thing but the thing is that really the uh, the word to mouth or the publicity is quite important in the business or business uh, opportunity so you can uh, say that these kind of platforms uh we should help each other we should build each other's business we should uh, uh, we should take time so to uh, consider the things that uh, that are going around us uh, for example that you have told the shopkeeper um, he managed to uh, to create a, uh, the whatsapp group list so in that list he uh, he just uh, he didn't uh, um, uh, you can say he uh, he didn't stop to sell a product he sold his product even after this pandemic even after lockdown even after strict Uh, you know the rules and regulations uh, in, in a very controlled and in a very in a very lawful manner so uh, one of the idea is that uh, we have a lot of uh, shopkeepers around us so why not to build a, a community like that on your whatsapp so that if i have uh, something in retail and that could be uh, sold to the other person who who is getting it at a very high cost if the thing is cheaper at my end then i can get a commission uh, of of selling that thing to the other person so this kind of initiative can be taken by most of the students without wasting your time and uh, without uh, they, these are the part time businesses and also uh, you told that uh, one of our colleague has started the channel on a uh, on a spiritual uh, studies or spiritual lessons so i think that uh, please mention her name here so that everybody can see and she 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 can also be promoted uh, to our wow. own channel But however i would like i would like that uh, you share her channel link in the chat section so that students can just uh, go yeah sure it. sure sure please sir please uh, send the link so that i can uh, show it here on the uh, on the screen just give so there are there are many other things that uh, uh, that should be considered uh, we can see that uh, there are lots of things you, uh, you know there there is a time in 1929 the world pandemic is uh, uh, is due to and uh, the great depression the stock market crash in the united states which started a chain of uh, uh, you know the uh, degeneration of economy ar- around the globe so these kind of a things can be tackled now that we have learned from that kind of a degeneration we can we have learned that kind of a deconstructions and uh, nowadays we have a global approach we have a mobile in our hand we have internet good internet connection and we can do whatever we want we can share the information whatever it uh, whatever the information could be so uh, the selling of information the selling of knowledge you know, is an also a business nowadays however our channel is totally free of a cost and it's a charity based business for the students so that everybody can get uh, fruitful results or useful information from our channel uh, but i think that these kind of a channel may also help to monetize or uh, uh, can help uh, the students to generate income from so uh, today's talk is a uh, quite useful and uh, please sir share the uh, uh, you said that the that you share the uh, information please, about uh, the teacher uh, you will share that information i think uh, before winding up i'll just like to announce something that you had already done in the previous session okay sir, uh, uh, students if you have any questions you can send those questions to the uh, to us right uh, on our email id deep sir please provide the email id 
so that uh, we'll be coming with a series of question and answer sessions where you will be answering all your questions related to the topic so uh, if you have any queries just forward them to uh, professor mandi and uh, we'll be happy to uh, you know answer them. yes it, yes sir the information is already shared and it is sticking around uh, uh, around our all the lecture uh, below our screen and uh, you can send the queries in our comment section or or at our uh, at our mail id and uh, we will conduct a special edition of this lecture series where the each and every answer can uh, each and every question will be answered so it is the last words and this is our second last lecture and uh, of the five lectures five lecture day series and uh, tomorrow uh, there is a one more speaker who will talk about the nutrition in this time of pandemic that is quite important because nutrition is an integral part of a life from where you uh, so you can say that uh, uh, these immunity building components you can get these uh, uh, directly from your diet so uh, the nutrition in today's time is also a sort of a medication so uh tomorrow's lecture is quite important and i think that the viewers uh, who are joined today with us will also listen to the lecture dr namneet for deliver that lecture on uh, tomorrow um, and with these words i am again signing off for now and tomorrow we will meet at the same time at 12 noon and till then thank you thanks to all and uh, keep enjoying to subscribe our channel the food mock and after that lecture series there is a one more session uh, uh, after the period of 15 days and which will be also like this uh, which will also conduct a lecture uh, so the discussions like this uh, like the uh, these topics so uh, i think that uh, uh, jo, uh, mr joshi will be again with us in that lecture series and with a different topic so for tomorrow signing off from this screen and uh, we will again meet you at 12 noon thank you thanks for joining us thank you sir thanks for thank joining you, us sir. thank you thank you